Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about two car related hacks. Coincidentally, two stories popped up today that were related with car hacking. The first one comes from researchers from a Chinese organization called Qihu 360. Basically, these researchers found out how to make electronic car theft a lot cheaper. A long time ago in the past, researchers already figured out how both to intercept and replay the wireless electronic transmissions that we use to unlock our cars today with special wireless key fobs. Now, to do these hacks in the past, researchers had to use something called smart radios, which tended to cost at least a couple hundred dollars in order to do these sorts of hacks. There's basically two big updates that come from these Chihu researchers. First, they've dropped the cost for this hacking system to around $22. They've figured out how to build two radios for around $11 a piece that can both intercept and replay a, a car's wireless signal and thus unlock or even start cars. The other thing they did was actually reverse engineer the communication standard that these wireless key fobs use. In the past, researchers really didn't understand what the key fobs were saying. They didn't know how the messages worked. However, they just basically recorded the message and replayed the message. However, these Chihu researchers have figured out how to craft their own messages, which actually makes the attack even easier. In any case, this new research kind of lowers the bar to electronic car theft. It makes it a lot cheaper for these would-be criminals to use these digital means to unlock your cars. Now, the good news is a lot of car manufacturers are working on updates to make it a lot more difficult to hack this wireless signal. The second car-related hack comes from an Israeli-based research company called Argus, and they found a vulnerability in Bosch's drive log connector. Basically, this is an aftermarket uh, device that you plug into the onboard diagnostic port of your car, and it allows you to wirelessly connect to your smartphone to actually see any sort of diagnostic messages from your car. Long story short, these researchers found a number of vulnerabilities in this particular device, including ones that allowed them to inject commands to the car. In fact, they can actually demonstrate this vulnerability by uh, turning off a car that's driving as long as they have Bluetooth range. Now, the good news about this vulnerability is it's in this aftermarket device. Unless you've bought this Bosch drive log connector, you're not vulnerable to it. That said, it should show a upcoming theme as far as IoT. As cars become more and more connected, we're going to start uh, adding more aftermarket devices to our cars, which can obviously add more attack service to our cars. Now, the good news is Bosch, this particular vendor, will be fixing these vulnerabilities. That said, it's just an interesting story. Anyway, there's not a lot an average consumer can do about these car vulnerabilities. You know, my two takeaways might be when you consider aftermarket devices, any device you plug into your car that have wireless access, you may want to avoid those type of devices because they do add new attack surface to your car. At the very least, always look for updates for those devices and update them accordingly. As far as electronic key fob attacks, there's not much you personally can do about this. It's really up to your uh, car manufacturer to solve that problem. But in general, you should be aware of some of the new digital vulnerabilities that affect our modern automobiles. Anyway, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.